Looks like this is our lucky day. Well, maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well, the less I see, the happier I am. your mind yet about what when it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave we should stay Kenny we've made an all right go of it so far that fucking figures it's only a matter of time till you and Lily put a white picket fence around that shithole like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. Better get a move on. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so. You're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. He'll get over it. Herschel's son is one of how many now? We've all seen a lot worse. That's a fucking thing to say. Talking about my kid here. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. Let's move. 
from it. Come on, Lee. It's sturdy as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here, and then we gotta go. stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. 
Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable when it... It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. Instead of what? Letting her suffer? You guys couldn't try to save her? It was a mistake. You bet your ass it was. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Forget it. I have. You should, too. 
Larry's gone, but he knew. If he didn't tell Lily outright, he probably said enough to make her wonder. I'll tell you what I would tell anybody, apocalypse or not. There comes a time when you can get out ahead of something like this and discuss it on your terms. Do it before that chance is taken away. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? I'm going to look into this thing. Good idea. Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was is what do you think about lily she scares the crap out of me that's a reasonable thing to feel i'm just worried she's going to snap hey ben i need to tell you something surely is it about my watch i'm trying to do a good job you're doing fine Uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me?
You have to chill out. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just feel like a crazy person. Can I do anything for you? Yes. I need help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed in. <laughs> Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Dark. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I thought I told you you couldn't help. I'm curious. You don't say. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. Do you have any, uh, chalk I can borrow? What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I? I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. She was all right, though. Well, you're about all she's got left. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, she says she's missing a piece of it. Well, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, Lee. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. 
I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? I'll talk to you later. Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my... Well, my thoughts. And I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Duck's favorite. Find anything? Are you worried about morale at all? The darker things get, the more we have to worry about people giving up. Tell me about it. I know you won't. I'm worried, but what can we do? I don't know. I'll be back. guys Kenny you got a second I need to tell you something yeah what do you got it's serious okay should I sit down come on I was uh on my way to prison three months ago no shit no shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Ah. Somebody was over here, too. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. Still the safest place for us. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. 
somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, we got our people out there! Out we ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta, that's why! We'll leave you everything. Just let us walk out of here. So you can try to pay us a little visit, leader? Fuck that! All right, I've had enough of this shit. Drew, take these motherfuckers! Christ! Oh, shit! Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine. Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. 